this is going to be good, okay? I'm going to show you how you can make $5,000 a month. I'm going to explain it to you. This is a key difference between small money and big money online. It's very easy to make small money online. Not easy to make big money. And I'm going to go over the three business models that can get you there. E-commerce, SS, MMA, and affiliate. And I'll also be going over what business models won't get you there and why. So stay tuned. This is really good. Can't wait to show you this. John Cristani here. Let's get it. One, two, three. Uh, that's about how much money you can expect to make online. $300 if you're using most methods to make money. Now, I talk about a lot of these methods on my channel. I talk about, you know, how drawing lines to make money or walking to make money or listening to music to make money. But most things will not make you a lot of money online. You're probably gonna be stuck making a dollar or a few bucks a day with most methods you do. And what you've gotta understand is the difference between small money and big money is this. Let me go over this. Okay, so what you have to know is that the main difference between making $500 a month online and $5,000 a month online is this. Now, $500 a month online is generally you're getting paid with tasks. Okay, simple tasks. Whereas to make $5,000 or more per month online, you're doing sales. Now what you have to understand about the internet is it's open to anyone and that's great for many people because you might be in you know, another country. And by the way, let me know in the comments where you're from in the world. I'd love to know. Put in your city as well. I'd love to know what cities y'all are from. YouTube doesn't tell me what cities everyone's from. but. The downside of it, you being able to do internet work from anywhere in the world is it's massively competitive. There's 7 billion people in the world and they're all competing for the same dollars that everyone else is. Now, this presents challenges. That's why simple tasks that just say, you know, draw lines around an object or identify something, it's a race to zero because everybody wants to work from the internet. Whereas if you can sell things, the sky's the limit because you have such a big audience of people to sell to. Now, the difficulty is, is that getting into being good at sales, it's kind of hard and it takes time. It doesn't take a lot of money, but it takes time. Now, you might be wondering, okay, John, this is great. There's tasks I can do and there's sales and tasks don't pay a lot. So how do, you, how do I make money with sales? What do I sell? How do I even get good at it? And I'm gonna go over the three main business models online that you can use to sell products. And I'll also give you a little bit of a bonus tip of at the end of how you can actually get really good at this very quickly without really spending any money at all. Now, the first business model is e-commerce, okay? E-commerce is when you're selling products online. You could be selling, you know, a cup or drinks. And by the way, love my Chick-fil-A. Mm, great chicken for any marketer. E-commerce is selling stuff on Amazon, okay? Uh, Amazon, Shop, you know, Shopify, etc. It's when you're selling products or services. You could be selling a camera. Show this camera right here. You know, you could be sh selling a selling a stand. You could be selling a selling milk duds. Whatever you're selling online, you're just selling it, and it's it's a great way to do things. Most people, most of uh, the people selling on Amazon, I think about six hundred billion dollars a year is from individual sellers like you or me. Hmm. But John, don't don't I have to have inventory or like have, buy products and have a you know some sort of physical location to sell in e-commerce? Yes, you have to have inventory. You have to buy products in advance and that is the downside of e-commerce. You have to buy the product before you start making money. So usually that costs about five to $10,000. That's what 
you probably have to spend an in inventory if you just want to get started with e-commerce. That's really the only viable way to start. Now, the next business model is called SMMA, I abbreviated, or Social Media Marketing Agency. And what's great about this is that you don't actually have to have any money to get started. As a social media marketing agency, you're managing other businesses marketing for them because you have more knowledge about marketing than the business owner. There are millions and tens of millions of business owners around the world and just by being here on my channel, you're far ahead of the curve in terms of understanding ways to market companies. And that, that knowledge is worth a lot of money to companies. So you can get started and just have people just start paying you to do their marketing for them. I started as a marketing agency and the benefits are that you don't actually have to spend any money to start making money. But the downsides of doing a social media marketing agency is oftentimes you have to do phone sales. So it requires another skill, it requires you to actually sell people over the phone. Some of you might be great at that. Some of you might not. If you could type in the comments, I'm good at sales. If you're good at sales or type in like I have, I, I don't, I don't ever want to do sales. If you never want to do sales, I'm kind of interested to see whether you're comfortable with sales or you're not comfortable with sales in the comments. So just type in comfortable or not comfortable in the comments to let me know. Now the last business model is affiliate marketing. Okay. And affiliate marketing is what I transitioned to. Um, after running a social media marketing agency. The other downside of running a social media marketing agency is that it requires you to actually have employees or contractors. And in order to grow your business, you always need to be finding better contractors, you need to be retaining employees, you need to be a good manager essentially in order to grow your business this way. I was never a good manager and I don't like really dealing with employees, so this never made sense for me as a business model to grow. However, if you thrive off of people and you like being the boss and the big daddy, so running a marketing agency could be a great way for you to grow my, your business. Now, here's a little funny story about that. When I left my marketing agency, I had a partner. I had a partner that did most of the sales and I did the behind the scenes marketing work um, for the clients. And I ended up finding another partner, um, somebody who would not only do the marketing stuff, but also help manage people, manage employees. And that company, which I, you know, I put the founders together and, you know, basically I started, happened in 2013. Um, ended up getting bought by a multi-billion dollar Japanese conglomerate for tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars, perhaps even a hundred million dollars. Um, it's, there's no official amount, but it got bought for somewhere, let's say around a hundred million dollars, um, earlier this year. So my, my, my friend, uh, my friends that I put together in the marketing agency, they grew it to be you know, almost 200 employees large and sold it for almost a hundred million dollars. And that all happened within the span of about seven years. So just to give you an idea, you can grow a marketing agency very big and you can make a lot of money from it. So it is a perfectly acceptable way to grow a company, but sales and management are the most important things. Now the last business model to do sales and make $5,000 a month or more is affiliate marketing. And that's what I currently do and that's how I made my first couple million dollars. So I started doing affiliate marketing in 2012 and in 2014 I made a million dollars from affiliate marketing. Okay, in 2015 I made almost $3 million purely from affiliate marketing in one year. Life-changing, life-changing. And this was all with one person. Now, the pros of affiliate marketing is it's very easy to scale. When you get something that's working, when you figure out an ad or a place to put an ad that work together, or you figure out a traffic source like Facebook groups and you figure out a way, you figure out a product that you can promote, you know, a way of promoting within Facebook groups for free and you put them together and you scale it up, 
That's when you make a ton of money because it's so easy to scale things on the internet. It's a beautiful feeling and go, thinking back, I almost get shivers of the first scalable campaigns I had and I would just refresh my phone. I'd sit there for hours just refreshing every minute, every 15 seconds it seemed like I'd get another 30 bucks, 30 bucks, 30 bucks. Every 15 seconds I could refresh my phone, money, 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 magical. Now the downsides of affiliate marketing are that it often takes a bit of time to learn and it takes a little bit of trial and error. So if I were to summarize it, the upsides of e-commerce is that it's scalable, okay? Easily scalable. The downside is it takes a lot of money to start. The upsides of social media marketing agency is it doesn't take a lot of money to get started. But the downside is that you have to deal with people. For affiliate marketing, the upside is it's very easily scalable. Whereas the downside is that it takes usually a lot of time to get started. And that, the downside of affiliate marketing is you're doing what's called battling algorithms, is you're figuring out sometimes, maybe you'll find something that works to post for free in Facebook groups and then a month later Facebook figures out what you're doing and they say, hey, no more spamming Facebook groups, right? Because they, they say, pay us for advertising. We want money, we, you can't promote stuff for free, you have to pay us money, or whatever it is. So no matter what it is, those are the three business models. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite business model here? Because I'll go deeper into it. Write down e-commerce, SMMA, or affiliate in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come on, let's let's make it happen. If you're committed to taking action and learning more about these, make sure you subscribe because I'm going over this all day, every day. I know these things like the back of my hand. I'm gonna show you how to make money. Number one money channel on YouTube, right here. We're showing you how to make money on the internet. The real way, let's get it, go out there, take back control of your life, quit your job. Drop out of school and tell your parents you're being an entrepreneur and there's no way anybody's gonna change you because you're going for your dreams. See you in the next video. As always, let's get it.